that doesn't make sense to do adjacent ones. It would only make sense to do it like this. But this top roll, uh, I guess there is a point to the top the roll. Will begin soon. Prepare yourself. Are you ready for the battle ahead? Don't trust me yet. All right, so Cassio, there's like two builds you can go. You, either Q build or auto attack build. I would, against Diablo, high HP targets, I would normally go auto attack because you get percent damage, which is really important. But since Falstad's going auto build already, that means he'll get percent damage. So if he's going the auto build route, then we can go spell power route. So we'll go Q build instead. Well, definitely one of us needs Giant Killer against the Diablos. If he didn't take it, I would. Q build is pretty much... Q build is pretty simple. You just spam your Qs 24-7. You just want as many stacks as humanly possible. And Cass is very strong in like early game trading, so... Any kind of like 4v4 fighting is really good for you as Cass here. Use your blind whenever you want. Ideally, you want to blind their auto attacker, but using it just for some extra damage is fine too. So this is really nice. I'm getting hella stacks right now. This is exactly what we want. We need to be careful here because we have two top. So we're outnumbered bottom. We still want to keep stacking. Just keep stacking. Keep checking the Qs out whenever we can. Never stop moving? Yeah. I mean, Cassia, you get armor as long as you're moving, right? So, if you play Cassia, you should definitely get used to always stutter stepping. Never letting your armor drop by itself. Only let it drop if you get stunned and you have no choice. No harm shall come to this world. By your hand, we will survive. He's getting so many stacks too. Cassius wave clear is not that good. You can like WE the wave if you really want to clear it. <laughs> You're the only guy that's clearing WE on the wave at the right angle. Plus a couple Qs will eventually clear it, but it's not too good. Try to blind their team whenever they do an engage. And keep stacking. Just keep stacking. Joan HXX. Thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Just keep stacking. They're not going for the shrine. I want to stack. I don't do shrine well anyway, so we're just gonna go here. just keep stacking the four hits. We're pretty strong with the 30 armor early game, so we can trade pretty aggro. very strong. That's why one of the reasons Cassius is one of the best heroes in the game is the 30 armor is nuts. I'll trade everyone as long as you have it. 30 armor? Yes, yes. 30 armor. And you know your, your Q is always like a T angle, right? So if you know the angle, sometimes you don't have to directly hit them. You can hit like the minion wave on their side and end up getting stacks on them in that way too. Just 
just always keep that stuff in my head. You're also very strong in melee range after 7 because of your AoE damage at 7. Just make sure to use it every time you can. Oh shit, I might be dead here. Ho ho! Goodbye world. 40 stacks on for that though, it's not too bad. You shot me this. What's the four? Uh, it's like a first aid. Heals you for 25% of your HP. Oh no, rip CPX. Ravened. Kinda getting Vikings right now though. Oh god, porch. This guy's pretty unkillable. With only three of us here. A frozen punisher serves the high heavens. Strike it down quickly. Good. Oh no. Try to bind our whole team again, so. We live. We live. That's good. This is probably not defendable, we only have three people, we're not tense. We should probably leave. Trap blind their team again. Oh my god, that mouth is like 1 HP. Really need to kill him. He went through that portal? That's nuts. That is actually nice that he would do that portal out of all the portals. <laughs> Over the freaking sidewall of the dance game. That scene is beating the crap out of us. Scaling though, gotta shell out shitload of stacks, we'll be doing a lot of damage. When we get 16 power spike. Your, your E cast the Q. That one's super strong. Yes, agreed. Which 16? Static electricity as the power spike for Q build. It's extremely strong. Basic full combo. For me, I do. Yeah. Oh no. They still had arrow. People sad. Well, at least they got one more stack. For me, I do. I do uh, RWQE D for my combo. So, if you're trying to take this build and you're trying to like full combo someone, 100 zero them, that's what I do. Usually do like uh, or WRQED. That's the order you press your buttons in. That's the order you mash your face into the keyboard to try to one shot someone, usually. Death deters no daughter of Scobos. Those we prepare endure. Are there games where A Cassie is better? Yeah, I talked about it at the start of this game. Guessing you weren't here. But if if we didn't have spell damage, I would have gone AA this game. Or if we didn't have Giant Killer already on the team, percent damage, I mean, I would have gone AA. But since we had it, then I'll play the more mage build. I see Medi protects as someone else there, so I want to go on Medi right away. Because he has no protect. I see him back. Getting the souls here is massive. You really want to kill this guy as possible. Yeah. Big blind, big blind. Big fan, big fan. Oh, 
of insta mount here. Can always insta mount the chase. Big. Okay, I feel like he might actually need help. I'm gonna. Now Diablo has zero souls. It's gonna be a much easier fight for us to win. I do want to tap though. We're still not at the power spike. We need 16 to be really, really strong. Try to just get the shine here before they get 16. They're gonna come from past that 16, so we need to be done before that happens. Hopefully. Alright, let's find them. Ah shit. I'm asleep. Got the Punisher now. Q's on walls are really good too, because your Q hits every single wall structure, so every Q does like five times the damage on walls. That's always nice to do. Alright, we're at our power spike now, I'm just gonna go, I'm not scared of them. Protect is down here, so we can maybe look for a one shot. They're looking up for a one shot on me too, Jones. Ah, almost got him. I needed one more Q, but I kept getting CC by Diablo. There's no soul, so Zine's not that scary. Kind of him out. Insta mount whenever we try to chase. Or just whenever possible. It's just nice. Q zone walls. Cassia 16 not good? Yeah, it's one of the best in the game because you're stacking your Qs all game. It just puts extra damage on you. I mean, you can just read it as like, instead of, um... It's a point and click that does like, uh... What, 300... Like 400. Right now it's a point and click that does 400. It just adds 400 damage minimum to the guy you click. Plus, 400 damage to everyone near the guy you click, so it's... Pretty damn good. And it keeps scaling up too. Check kills. 2.25 for me. We're on top of the world, baby. And 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 since it counts as a Q, oh I wish he let him get all three Vikings there, dude. I would have killed all three then. Since it counts as a Q, it also accelerates your stacking too, because now you have like another way of getting a Q. Just very synergistic. Oh, yo, 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 these Vikings though. Stacks. Oh, I got some stacks there. I'll Q's on walls, Q's on walls, Q's on walls, Q's on walls. Gonna blind them soon if they're gonna APOC engage here. Alright, we'll just blind. Oh shit, that gust almost killed me, but it didn't. Nice thing is like your Q's all split and this one sends a Q at everyone that's clumped. It's basically like a more lethal version of chain bombs. If they ever clump and you just Q WQE the, their clump, like it kills their whole team if they ever clump. It's like the GM version of chain bombs basically. I mean. And it's reliable because it's not up to them, it's up to you. Just uh, pressing E when they clump. You don't have to like wait for them to like spread the chain bomb. Am I dead here? I might be dead here. Alright, fine. 
Key stack. Hundred stacks. We got a lot of stacks. They're really trying to kill us. Monka Giga. Just gonna get infinite ball for more damage. I feel like they're not really close to killing me right now, so insta mount whenever we wanna chase. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that's not less nice. Less nice. He's with 30 armor. Oh. She was there too, thankfully. Okay, I would talk about this game. I'm sure that. Nice. No APOG or Vine. They can't do anything off this. Anyways, this is, why, this is why this build is broken. Hold on, let me see if I can. I can't even reach them. Satch, man. I show you the deeps, but I can't reach them. So you just. W. Ideally, you just WQE someone and they die, right? But I can't really show you because they're playing on the Over explain game, I guess. It's really not that hard. You just get a shitload of stacks, know the basic MVP. combos, and then uh, you do a billion damage. Because here is broken. Hardest part is like not getting stunned. That's probably the hardest part. The hardest part is like understanding what stuns and roots and silences, like understanding what can kill you on the other team and then not dying to it. That's probably the hardest part. 